Hello. Today is Tuesday, August 20th, 2019. Uh, around 7.30 p.m. in the evening, so you guys are catching me at the end of my day. But I wanted to try to get this video in because I'm not sure on the next week how much time I'm going to have to make videos. My name is Suzette, also known as Primitive Stitcher here on YouTube. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. If you are new, I hope you decide to just to subscribe and stay a while. If you are returning, thank you for returning. I appreciate that you are here. And um, I appreciate your comments. I am woefully behind in responding to any of those, but I hope to get caught up on those sooner rather than later. I wanted to make this video uh, today because I have finished uh, Farm Girl, Michelle Rudy, Stitch 9 Challenge. So I wanted to get them documented on uh, video so that hopefully over the next couple of days I can photograph them and get them uh, on her page. I think that I had shown you maybe the first three and I've completed the last six over the past several months. Um, I mistakenly <laughs> thought that they were supposed to all be done in within the ninth month of the year. I just totally made that up. I don't know where I got that from, but I'm happy that I did. Oh, here comes our friend Morris. I hope he... Come here, Morris. Come here. No? Okay, please don't bump the camera. Anyway, I am happy that I went ahead and finished them because I have some other things that I want to accomplish uh, over the um, next several months and it's nice to have these finished and out of the way. So let's get to it. I don't believe I showed you this one but if I did, um, you're going to see a repeat of one of them. And this one is by Stacy Nash called Cherry Hollow Farm. And I've stitched this on 36 count beige. It came as a kit. Oh, and I've just realized that I've forgotten to bring all of the charts. Oh, well. I think I can remember all the names. Anyway. Here we are, Cherry Hollow Farm, Stacy Nash, enjoyed stitching this, was not super fond of stitching the border. I just could not find a rhythm with it. I know there is one, but I couldn't find it. But it's a lovely piece and hopefully will be framed in the next uh, year. Next up, I, I do have these in the order that I worked on them and finished them. Is called A and E by uh, Primitive the Primitive Needle. Oh, I forgot to mention on Cherry Hollow Farm that was a 2018 Mania start. So I have that one finished. This was a 2017 Mania start called A and E by Primitive Needle. I've stitched this on a 40 count linen that I got from Vicki Clayton in which that I over dyed and this is calling the uh, using the called for NPI silks. I did enjoy um, stitching this. There are several mistakes, but I just decided to just leave it and continue on. Lady Liberty. This was a gift from, oh my goodness. Oh, 
I'm sorry, I've forgotten. Michelle. I'm sorry, Michelle. Anyway, it's by you and I and friends. This was a 2018 Mania start. Morris, nope, come here. You wanna say hi and then get down? Hmm? He's not been um, feeling well today. This is actually the first that he's been out of the bedroom. He's just decided to stay in there. Uh, no, be nice. Okay, time to get down. He'll probably make another appearance. Okay, back to Lady Liberty. I stitched this on a 25 count Lugano one over one using the call for DMC. It was a fun stitch. I love this and I can't wait to FFO it and have it with my uh, patriotic pieces. Morris, you're standing on my stitching. When I selected my stitch nine pieces, I tried to select things that were from Mania, uh, previous Mania pieces. And I did a variety of pieces from, I think it was 2016 to 2018. I tried to select some smalls, some mediums, and some bigger pieces. This is one of my bigger pieces. It's called Sarah and Cotty from Willow Hill Samplings, and it was in the spring edition, spring 2017 edition of Punch and Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazine. I started this for Mania 2017, worked on a little bit for Mania 2018, and I'm happy to say that I have it completed. I did make a few changes. I left out part of the, uh, the verse down here. Sarah Ann's name was across here. I decided to put her name in here and the date and my initials down in the lower portion. And this is stitched on a 36 count hand-dyed fiber by Vicki Clayton that I also over-dyed. And this was using uh, the Call for Gentle Arts. Stitched one over two. And I'm, I'm in love with the way it turned out. And the final piece was a 2018 Mania start, stitched on 36 count espresso from r and using NPI silks, which were called for. It's called Lydia, Lydia Corker Sampler Bag. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it into a sampler bag. And it's by Stacy Nash from the book um, my name is Lydia, and here is my finish. This piece reminded me how much I love using silks. It actually went very quickly. The words are stitched one over one, and the rest is stitched one over two. What I did, because the words were a bit challenging, so I would do a row of text and then I would move on and do maybe a motif and then go back and do a row of text so that it broke it up a little bit. But I love this. I love the colors. I love the design. And I'm so happy to have that completed.
Um, hang on. That wasn't six, that was five. <laughs> because I had finished four previously. This was one that I had shown you already. This is by Heartstring Stamplery. Which I think is called Queen B. I have my book over here. Nope. And just to recap, this is Coffee Quaker by Heartstring Stamplery. Vintage Birds by Jeanette Douglas. And I am not going to remember. Is this Sandra Sullivan? Can't remember, but this one is uh, unfinished sampler. But you've already seen this. It's in my previous, I think, not the most previous video, but the one prior to that. If you want to know who the designer is. So that's what I have spent the last several months working on. And basically what I would do is I just made sure that I stitched for a minimum of a half an hour every evening. And sometimes I got to stitch a little bit more, but a half an hour for me, I can, when I'm stitching in hand, um, can make quite a dent in in a piece. So I will get those photographed and up on Michelle's page. Oops. Hold please. Something that I feel horrible about neglecting, I'm 100% sure that I did not mention this in any previous video but I met a wonderful stitcher at uh, last October's Midwest Cross Stitch Retreat in uh, Minnesota named Penny McCabe. And um, she had commented on a project bag that I had with me there. And it was one that I had happened to make and she loved the fabric. I thought that I had more of that fabric and I, so I told her I would hunt it down and send her some and bless her heart she sent me a thank you for that and I I Penny I am so sorry I just got kind of pushed to the back of my cart and I forgot to mention it she sent this lovely card very cute and then this this is my very first Biscorno and I'm anxious to um, stitch this. It is by The Bee Cottage, and the name of it is I'd Rather Be Stitching. Look how fun that is. All these little spools, the bees. So thank you, Penny. And there are um, also you're not going to be able to see them in here, but some beads to go with it. So I look forward to stitching that. Everyone says they're not as difficult to put together as they look. We shall see. Next, I want to show you, um, this is something that I did much earlier in the year. Well, in the spring, late spring, early summer. I have a mulberry tree in my yard and I was doing some work outside and I saw all the mulberries and I was like, hey. <laughs> so I grabbed a little scrap of fabric and wet it, got the mulberries, squished them all up on it, put a little bit of water in, squished it around got busy. I, I had something else to do that day, so I just stuck it in the refrigerator. Forgot about it. <laughs> Several days later, pulled it out, rinsed it really well, and this is the result of that. 
I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this, but I just wanted to see what the result would be. I, I rinsed it very well. And then I, oh, there's a cat hair on it. More stuff would be from you. Rinsed it very well and then heat set it with my iron. Kind of cool. Next up, I want to show a few things that I've purchased. And these are really uh, probably more so in my most recent two my least recent purchases over the last several months. I'm probably not gonna show you everything, but I do want to have a few mentions. He is really pushing his luck here. <laughs> I have been bitten by the uh, Sullivan's Easy Guide Ball Tip Needle. I love it. I use, because I stitch a lot on 28 count, I most recently have been using size 28 needles, so I, I purchased some. And decided that I liked them, so I went in search of some place maybe to find them a, a little bit uh, less expensive than my original ones and i found a place online called my notions it's just mynotions.com and so i per I, I think they were around six dollars per set so I purchased some more. I love these. There's only one downfall to them that I have found. I like to use the pin stitch to start and end my threads. And because they have a ball tip on them, if you've never seen them, they look like this. And possibly you can see the little ball on the tip of the needle. There is a magnified version of it. You can't split your threads with these. So I've had to revert back to the, my old method of just leaving a long tail and weaving it in at the end. That's the only downfall I've found to these. They are easy to use. They feel good in the hand. Um, and again, that is mynotions.com. I also, while I was on there, purchased a couple of the three inch rings because I've decided that I want to put my um, Victorian Motto sampler threads on rings in order to um, start subbing them out with other, you know, for other threads. And it's easier to, to sub them out if you can actually see them. So I picked those up. Okay, so this was the first time that I had shopped at this place and they sent some free items. They, um, they sent this along free in my shipment. Morris, no, no, oh, no, no. You cannot do that, nope, sorry. This little set of thread along for free and then also I didn't open this up because I wanted to show you but I have a feeling this is the pattern that's on the inside it's called starlight star bright humbug right here and I probably have it more as Sorry. <laughs> and it came with the pattern and the floss for it. Totally free. How awesome is that? So please do, you know, um, go check them out. They have quite a few notions. I don't believe they have fabric, but they have a lot of 
fun accessories. So that was a very recent purchase. I have, of course, been shopping at my go-to places like Kitten, Kitten Stitcher. I probably have enough cards to send out to every single one of my subscribers. Okay, that might be an exaggeration, but I'll show you a few of the things that I've purchased from her. One of the latest, Brenda Gervais. I'm adding this to my red sampler collection. I won't go over what fabrics these are, but some fabrics. Red Work Presentation Sampler, which is by Samplers Remembered. Antoinette, Antoinetta Bove, Red Work Sampler, also by Samplers Remembered. And we're sliding up. Then we have Caroline Colmont, 18, 5, 1845, by Reflex Diso. Oh my goodness, I need a better setup here. <laughs> Everything's sliding. I have admired darning samplers for a very long time and just hadn't ever. Um, Click that button to get one until I saw this one, and I just think that is beautiful. Marjorie Massey. Those patterns are hard to find, and when I saw that Teresa was carrying some of them, this has been one of my favorites for a very long time. I not sure what colorway I will stitch this in, but it would be beautiful in just about anything. And this one is called Quakers. Have admired this one, I think, um, from when I saw Farm Girl stitch it. And it's just one of those that you think, oh yeah, I'll get it someday, I'll get it someday. And then I just decided to go with it. Heartstring Stamplery. Baby, it's cold outside. Another one from Brenda Gervais, The Cat in the Moon and the Moon. Another Brenda Gervais, Love and Be Loved. Another card. Another Brenda Trevay. This is another one that I have really liked for a long time, and I don't know why I never purchased it. Liberty House. I have quite a uh, with thy needle and thread collection, but this was not in it. Now it is. This one I wanted a long time ago when it first came out. Kind of forgot about it. Teresa. I uh, showed her finish of it last year, and I fell in love, went to purchase it from Teresa, it was out of stock, and just kind of forgot about it again, and then I noticed it was back in stock, Spooky Countdown by the Primitive Hair. And I do believe I'm gonna stitch mine all in one piece. Gorgeous. Catherington, 1882, Needlework Press. Beautiful. RWNB, ABC, also by Needlework Press. Right? Hang on. Yes. I love the simplicity of that. 
And Teresa, if you're watching, I want to say hi to Zero. Zero, you've done an awesome job um, with your inspection. Okay, those are all from Shakespeare's Peddler. I can't remember what of these. Uh, I've, I've put the purchases away. I know there was some fabric. Oh, I know that I got two pieces of fabric from her and I can't remember which chart, but um, threads entwined. Super fast service, just like Kitten Stitcher. And I picked up Espresso 36 Count by R&R from her. And this one, also a 36 Count by R&R. &R. Just some good basic uh, sampler co uh, colors. And I wanted to show you, beautifully packaged. Look at this. So sweet. It really made me happy. And it was, not only was it this beautiful package on the outside, it was beautifully wrapped on the inside. And, and sadly, all that has probably been ripped up by Morris. Also from Jen's Stitching Niche, I picked up um, some of the, the Prairie Schooler Santas that I needed to fill in. Actually, I think I had seven or so that I picked up from her. Needed to fill in uh, to complete my collection. Again, always quick shipping, excellent service. And last, well, no, not last, next, I picked up a few things from Rochelle at the Cottage Needle. Again, super service there. And she always sends a needle. And that is so appreciated, Rochelle. Uh, thank you for your quick service. Uh, and. I appreciate it. And finally, last of my purchases from two, two locations. First from Sassy Jacks, I purchased, I mean the second it came out, I clicked on over to Sassy Jacks. And again, it was beautifully wrapped in tissue with, um, I'll hold that up longer in case anyone is new and has never heard of Sassy Jacks. It came beautifully wrapped, came very quickly. Morris, stay there. Can you guess what I purchased? Yes, hands across the sea, Harriet Salt. I think this may either be uh, my birthday start, December 23rd, or my 2020 New Year start. So I picked up the booklet and the fabric, which I chose 46 count weeks, which looks like this. And because I got the 46 count, I went ahead and went with the 100, this is the 103. Morris, what did you knock off, honey? Oh, something that I needed to show. The Awa, now how do you say it? I don't know. I'm not French, even though I have a French name. It is this one. It is the 100, 103. So I got all of those. 
And then Kimberly sent along their little card. And a tap a John James needle. And hold please. Morris, that wasn't very nice. And the needle minder that goes with with Harriet Salt. I have been dying to start this, but it's a very special piece and I want it for a special occasion. So when I saw Mama Joan offer made by Mama Joan. Oh, let me give you this on Etsy. I went over immediately and purchased the bag for Harriet Salt. And these are beautifully made. Perfect for Harriet Salt. And will be treasured for a very long time. So thank you, Joan. I love that. So that's almost it. What am I going to be focusing on next? I have decided that what I would really like to focus on is finishing up some mania pieces from the past three years. So I want to have one mania piece and one non mania piece going are being focused on at a time. I don't have a non, no, I do have a non mania piece going on right now, but I can't share it with you. It's for the Midwest Cross Stitch Retreat Exchange coming up in October. I'm almost completed with it. When I FFO it, I will do a short little clip of it to save it for after the, the retreat so I can share that with you. I'm enjoying every stitch of it and then I just pulled out a mania piece um, it's a dimensions chart Charles Waisaki I think this was a 2017 mania start and so I'm going to focus on this and I'm hoping to have my non-mania piece finished by the end of the month, fully finished by the end of the month. And so in September, Morris, that hurts. Hey, I'm not a chew toy, baby. Nope, 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 that hurts. Now you feel like playing. So in September, I am going to stitch along with Kitten Stitcher in Sampler September. I This is a non-mania piece, and it happens to be a piece designed by none other than Shakespeare's peddler, Mercy Goodhart. And this is stitched with uh, NPI silks. And I do have that one out here to show you where I had gotten to. We are sliding. Which is not very far. I had started this, um, I don't know, border, and discovered that I had horribly messed up. So I went back and fixed that, and then I started in on the alphabet. So this will be my starting point for Sampler September. I think that I will 
only stitch on one sampler in September. I doubt that I will, I don't know, maybe, maybe I could get this done in September. It's beautiful. I love it. It's not a reproduction. It's an original, an original. So I am working on this section here. Yes. But even if I just get a half an hour a day, I will be pleased with that progress. And it will be fun knowing that lots of others are stitching on samplers in September. I think, ouch, I think that is all for me. I've been busy uh, trying to make more more journals. I'll give you a little sneak peek. This is one that I started putting together last night. Look at this, I love this blue and yellow. So I'm gonna work on, on these some more this evening. And hopefully have another more items up in on my Facebook page. No, 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 no. On my Facebook page soon. Work is kicking my behind. Um, a lot of students this year that need lots of extra love. So please keep them and, and all of those of us who help them in your thoughts. Send us good vibes. We are in our fourth day of classes and they're joy. They are joy. They just need a lot of love. So that's it, my friends. Thank you again for spending time with me this evening. I'm probably not going to get this on, um, loaded on until tomorrow. We'll see. But thank you for joining me. And until next time, happy stitching. Bye for now.